brought to you by Sunbeam, the best electric appliances made. The deluxe Sunbeam Mixmaster Food Mixer, the new Sunbeam Steamer Dry Iron, and the new Sunbeam Controlled Even Heat Automatic Fry Pan. Now, let's all play What's My Line? And now let's meet our award-winning panel of What's My Line? First, the popular columnist whose voice of Broadway appears in papers coast to coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you who have seen the motion picture Ocean's Eleven undoubtedly have loved the performance of the fellow who's called Mushy in the picture. And we have him with us tonight, Mr. Joey Bishop. Thank you, Dorothy. And uh, on my left in a second will be the young lady whose uh, radio show, uh, Arlene Francis at Sardis, is heard every day at 3.15, and I will be on one day this coming week. Arlene Francis. And now the Random House publisher who has had many very nice things said about him, but best of all, he's a good friend, Mr. Bennett Sir. Now, I have to tell you a story that Daly has just been telling backstage. It seems he went to the Yankee Stadium yesterday. He wanted to hear Bill Scarwin speak. And uh, while he was there, he saw a monkey selling potato chips at the ballpark. And uh, he said, what are you doing here selling potato chips? And the monkey said, it figures I'm a chipmunk. <laughs> and uh, here is the perpetrator of that story, Ooh. John Charles Daly. It had to be a bad story, and he'd have claimed ownership. You know that. <laughs> Heavenly days to Betsy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. It's nice to have Mr. Joey Bishop with us on the panel once again. And we will hope to... For a minute, I thought it was going to be about three out of a thousand there. <laughs> <laughs> But still, Joey, we will, as we will always do with the other members of the panel, hope to stick you solidly with all of the occupations which you brought to us before, in the next half hour. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before the panel a little bit later in the program. And we'll meet our first challenger after this word. And now let's meet our first challenger. Would you enter and sign in, please? Robert Specht. Theodore Specht. Alan Specht and Arthur Specht. How are you? Guys? Four brothers? Yes. Yes. Twins? Yes. One, two. Alan and Arthur. Arthur are the twins. Where are you from, gentlemen? Long Island. All of you from Long Island? Yes, sir. Big place, Long Island. May I ask you all to turn around and meet our panel? Panel, the brothers Specht. And now will you come over here and join me, please? Are you uh, familiar with our scorekeeping system on What's My Line? Yes. yes. In that event, we have nothing to do here but uh, let the audience in the theater and those who are watching at home know exactly what your line is. Panel, we will tell you that the brothers Specht are salaried, that they deal in a service, and we'll begin the general questioning with Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, Mr. Specht, uh, do you do something in conjunction with each other? Mm, no. 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 That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Bishop. <laughs> you have to think on this show. <laughs> You do uh, something apart from each other. Yes, yes. yes. Sorry, Joey. And um, that's all I need, of course, are four brothers coming down, and my name is Joseph, and I'm waiting for two other brothers to come in from Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, 
Uh, from what I understand, you all do something separately. Yes. I mean, okay. you would not be doing it uh, two, doing it one part of it, and the other two doing another part of it. No. Each thing you all do is divorced from one another. Yes. Is that correct? Is it uh, physical as compared to being mental? Yes. yes. This is not, uh, Joey, if I may interject here, this is not to say that there is not a degree of, of mental activity in, together with the physical activity, but physical activity is necessary, and I would think perhaps um, in balance there is as more or as much physical activity as mental activity. Uh, I, I just want you to know that uh, it's nothing personal, John. <laughs> Bennett has a fly. <laughs> Then it's having trouble oh. with a fly. Yes. Now you have it. <laughs> uh, is it in the uh, field of sports? No. no. Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Uh, Miss Respect. <laughs> 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 Think if you'd had, had, a, had somebody in the family named Zantippy Spect, would be Expect. It's nothing much, but I just happened to think of it. Uh, yeah, I think maybe we, I should explain that Zantippi is spelled with an X at the beginning. That's what I mean, expect. Yeah, but you pronounce it Z, you see. I pronounce it, what is that? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> have to skip it or we may get into a long discussion about it. You don't do anything in conjunction with each other, but you are all in the same kind of business, I presume. Is that yes, it? Yes. Right. Uh, do you do your jobs indoors? Yes. yes. <laughs> they all answer together. Maybe it's a choral society. Uh, do you use any implements in your work? Yes. Yes. Do animals have anything to do with your work? No. no. <laughs> Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Speck, is there anything connected with food in the work that you do? No. No. A uh, small conference. <laughs> the big conference. Yeah. Bennett, to be perfectly fair, it is reasonable to expect that under given circumstances they might have some association with food. Really? Uh, is there anything whatever connected with entertainment in what you do? No. no. Four down to six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you work for a profit-making organization? No. no. Five down and five to go, Mr. Bishop. So far, I've got them listed as morticians. <laughs> um, would I be likely to come to any one of you for your particular services? Yes. yes. Uh, now I'm sure they're morticians. <laughs> uh, is what you do applied uh, to, a, uh, to a human being? Yes. Yes. Is it on a, on a health basis? Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, are you in any way uh, even remotely connected in the, in the form of uh, gymnastics? No. 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 Six down and four to go, Miss Fred. <laughs> you work for a nonprofit making organization and you have something to do with health, correct? That's true. Uh, are you uh, doctors? Do you no. have that title? No. 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 Seven down and three to go, Mr. Sir. But do you work, is your work in any way connected with a hospital? Yes. Yes. And you're not doctors? No. no. Do you wear any kind of uh, uniforms in the work that you do? Yes. yes. Are they white uniforms? Yes. yes. Are you studying to be doctor? No. <laughs> Eight down and two to go, Mr. Gallant. Uh, do you come in direct contact with patients at the hospital? Yes. Yes. Are you male nurses? Yes. 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 Well, why do you do Actually, all four brothers are registered nurses. Three of you work in the Pilgrim State Hospital, which is state-owned, and the other, and uh, Bob, you work in Central Islip Hospital. 
and uh, all four of them have gone into medicine in the form of and uh, in the service which they wanted to give and I think it's a fine record for one family gentleman more than that we got them eight down and two to go and that's a fine achievement thank you very much all of you for being our guests on what's my life Well, now, that's a pretty good beginning. Let's see what we can do with the second challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Pat? Pat Hayes, is that right? <laughs> is it Miss or Mrs.? Miss. It's Miss Pat Hayes, and Miss Pat, I think we should tell the panel that so that uh, there be no doubt in their minds that we're talking here about Miss Hayes' vocation for the summertime. She is a student, uh, but in the summertime is a very busy worker in her own particular field. Where are you from? Creston, Iowa. Creston, Iowa. May I present our panel, Miss Hayes? Uh -huh. Will you join me over here, please? You know how we keep score, Miss Pat? Yes. Good. In that event, we'll let the folks in the theater and those at home know exactly what your line is. we can tell you that Miss Hayes is self-employed, deals in a service, and we'll begin the general questioning with Bennett Cerf. Pat, that's a very cute curl you've got. Thank you. Does the service that you perform, Pat, something that you do when you're doing vacation time? Yes. Uh, does it take you out of doors? Yes. Do you uh, wear any kind of different regalia when you perform the service and you would yes. wear on it some kind of a uniform no it would not no, I don't mean by a military uniform but I mean it's some kind of uh, a dress that would distinguish you from a girl who was just walking down the street yes nice uh, well that's what they... I meant I didn't think she was a marine or anything like that <laughs> <laughs> Pat would the would the uniform possibly uh, be Sort of a monkey suit with pants rather than a dress? Yes. Do you have anything to do with any kind of means of transportation? No. <laughs> the way I figure it, Pat, if I change this answer, I'm going to get murdered. If I leave it stand, I'm going to get murdered. So we'll just leave it as a no and make it one dollar nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. What did she say no to? No means of no means connected means. with any uh, kind of transportation. I'd like de uh, Bennett's definition of a monkey suit on a girl. Well, I think that it was finally reduced to the issue that Miss um, Pat, while she works, wears trousers and, and instead of a skirt. Something bifurcated, at any rate. Something well, like yes, I suppose that's what you could say. Yeah. Uh, can men as well as women enjoy your services, Pat? Yes. Uh, do people come to you? Yes. Uh, is your job an active one? Do you move about rather than sitting behind yes. a desk? <laughs> uh, are, are people uh, uh, amused or made happier by what you do? Yes. Uh, would you say they were entertained? Yes. Do they pay to see you do what you yes. do? You do it out of doors. Uh, do you do it in conjunction with anybody else? I mean, when she is doing what she does, is there another human being performing essentially the same action? Or assisting her in any way? A small conference. <laughs> Mr. Arthur, we're going to give you a no answer on that. I think you do. <laughs> You're down at eight to go. Now, this presupposes that you recognize that in the preparation for the, the uh, service, other people may be involved. But in the actual performance of the service, we're happy to say that Miss Pat is there by herself. Mr. Bishop. It's been so long since the last question, I was back <laughs> to the four brothers again. <laughs> uh, are you, during the summer, in the entertainment field? Yes. Uh, is what you do uh, more likely to be seen 
in the uh, form of a circus as compared to a, a nightclub. Yes. Uh, are you in any way connected with a, uh, an outdoor type circus? Yes. Is whatever you do, uh, is water necessary in whatever you do? No. That's three down and seven to go, and we accept the use of circus and outdoors in a very general description there. Miss Francis. It's really a place of, and where people can come and be entertained, more or less. Do you have anything to do with things like merry-go-rounds or... No. Or, uh, no, no merry-go-rounds. Four down and six to go. Amusement parks, I was trying to think of. Pat, do you do any kind of acrobatic work? No. Five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are you yourself transported in an unusual way in what you do? <laughs> Are you shot out of anything? No. Six down and four to go, Mr. Bishop. Are you shot into anything? <laughs> <laughs> you are transported, is that correct? In an unusual but way. But not in the sense of transportation. Right. I mean, like you couldn't get off and ask for an exchange. <laughs> <laughs> or a transfer. No transfers in this job. Could we have a conference? You may have 30 seconds for a conference. I know this is wrong, but uh, could it be anything like a trampoline performer? Is there in a way they move about? Yeah, that would be acrobatic. Yes, it would. Rule that out. Sorry. Oh, uh, it is not in acrobatics. No. Mm. Um, and then they wouldn't pay to see her perform either, right? On a trampoline, Bye. I mean. Um, you son of a gun. <laughs> uh, may I pass? Yes, surely. I, I mean, I know the answer, but I don't want to be selfish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joyce passes, Miss Francis. Are there any wires attached to you? No. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Seraph. Uh, Pat, by, by acrobatics, I'm ruling out juggling, balancing, trapeze work, anything of that sort. But you are moved about, and you're not shot out of a cannon. Uh, are you in anything, are you ever off the ground in the work that you do? Yes. Would it possibly be in some kind of airplane that you do your work? No. Eight down and two to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are you in any sense an aerialist? No. Nine down and one to go, Mr. Bishop. Boy, that ruled out everything. Uh, I, I would like to pass again, but I'd like to do the show again. <laughs> would it have anything to do in a very, very broad sense of the word in, uh, in parachuting? Parachuting? <laughs> no, Joey. Miss Pat rides Brahma bulls in rodeos. <laughs> rides in, in rodeos throughout Iowa and Nebraska. You're 15 years old now, Pat? Yes. It's allowed to tell a young lady's age when she's 15. <laughs> and uh, she does it in the summertime and, and does well with it, we might add, we hope. And, and What's the quickest it? time you ever dropped a Brahma bull? Oh, I ride them. Oh, well, you she never, you don't wrestle them. with them. Bennett, you're the bull thrower. You see, yeah. Pat rides the bull. She doesn't throw them. I just wanted them. to say, John, if she ever gets on the wrong bull, she's going to find it is a means of transportation. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Pat, thank you very much. It's been wonderful to have you as a guest on What's My Life. We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our sponsor. And now we are ready for the appearance of our mystery celebrity, the special feature of our program. And as you know, we always ask our panel to blindfold themselves on this occasion. Are the blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, yes sir. sir. All squared away, Miss Arlene, all set? Yeah, yeah. All right, would our mystery celebrity come in and shine in, please? In the case of our mystery guest, we go to a different form of questioning, one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin it with Joey Bishop. I'm only hoping to the good Lord it's a comedian. I hate to see somebody else get such applause. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you in, uh, in the entertainment business? We. Oui. Miss Francis? 
Are you in pictures? We? Oui. Mr. Sir? Have you also appeared in the Legitimate Theater? We? Oui. Miss Kilgallen? Are you in a picture that is currently appearing on Broadway or in the major first-run houses? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Bishop. Are you in a show that is currently appearing on Broadway? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Are you in a show that is about to appear on Broadway? We. Oui. Mr. Sir? Would the show that you're going to do have anything to do with Mr. Carl Sandbury? We. Oui. Betty Davis. <laughs> oh, yes. <yeah. laughs> I thought oh, but Arlene and I are the Bobsy twins. <laughs> we have spent a week together. Well, this is what we... Also, I've been with Mr. Bishop That's this right. week. It's just terrible. I know it. But it isn't terrible that you're going to appear in the world of Carl Sandburg, and I, I believe I'm the only person here that has seen it because I happen to see it out of town. And you can't say it, but I can say that it is a marvelous, exciting performance, and I hope everybody will get to see the world of Carl Sandburg in that day. I, I would like to explain because it may not be quite clear. One reason why we were very pleased that Miss Davis agreed to be with us tonight was that she was interviewed by Arlene this week. She yeah. showed Joey Bishop this week. Twice this week. Twice, and we're just <laughs> hoping to catch them all off base. And I thought we'd gotten started with a bang there. Most Two. famous person in town. Yeah, that's the way I figured it. And uh, to show you how good my memory is, it opens the Henry Miller Theater on September the 14th. <laughs> September the 14th is right, is it not? That's right. Absolutely right. Yeah. Ma'am, thank you very much. Lovely. It's very nice to have you. Thank you very much. And we'll have another contestant after this word from our alternate spot. And now a final contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? And Maciek, right? <laughs> it's Miss Maciek, and where are you from? Bayonne, New Jersey. And our panel. Now, would you join me here, Miss Maciek? We're a little bit tight for time. I will tell the panel that uh, it's a very interesting occupation, a little bit tricky, and it's one of those we thought you might get very quickly. But first, we'll let the audience here and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. tell you that Miss Maciek is salaried and deals in a product and we'll begin with Arlene Francis. Miss Maciek, is your product a useful product? Yes. Is it one that I might have? Yes. Is it used in the home? Yes. Is it held, can it be held in the hand? Yes. Is it anything that might ever be on the person? Yes. Would it be considered in any way, and that includes jewelry and false teeth, apparel? <laughs> anything that is worn on the person? Is it worn? Let me say that yes. instead. It's worn. Uh, is it worn from the shoulders up? No. no. No, I don't think so. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Maciak, when it's worn, is it visible to passers-by? Yes. Sometimes. I would say that on some occasions it is yes. and others not. Is it worn from the neck down to the knees? Yes. Is it worn around the middle? Yes. Sometimes. Yes. Does it uh, do anything to correct <coughs> or beautify the person who wears it? No, I don't think we could say that. Do you understand? No. no. That's two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, uh, Miss Macy, I guess it possible that this is worn by something other than human beings? It could be. Yes, it could. But it also could be worn by human beings? Mm. Yes. Uh, could the human beings ever be children? Yes. yes. Could they be grown-ups, too? Yes. Hmm. Around the middle? Around the middle. I'm afraid we've run out of time. John, I think I have it. What is it, Joey? Well, according to what you've said, it may and may not be seen, and it's worn around the middle. Miss Maciak deals with sloppy dresses. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Miss Maciak is a zipper tester. Works with a Conmar zipper company over in Newark. Uh -huh. And we, we did it. Tough. We didn't get it. Thank you very yes. much.
Well, that was great good fun, and I think in time you would have gotten it, panel, on that happy thought. I will say good night, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Good night, John. Good night, Joey. Do come Thank again. You. Thank you, Dorothy. Good night, Arlene. And we'll, we'll get that mm, show going. Yes, we will indeed. And goodbye, Bennett, for now. And tell us some more about the chipmunk, John. I said it before, and I say it again. If it was a good joke, he'd have claimed authorship. And good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being with us on What's My Line. What's My Line is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Woodson and Bill Totten. Al Sims speaking.